Hello there, I am Giant Quill with more Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we started our adventure. And we started with Trico, we chose Trico as a star Pokemon, and then we were told by basically, after saving Professor Birch from that evil Pushina that jumped him, uh, we uh, used uh, Geico, you know, to save him. And I chose the name Geico because I was thinking about the insurance company Geico, and you know, the Geico Gecko is green, and I thought, you know, Subtile is green or something. I don't know. It's just, I thought that was a cool name. I don't know. So yeah, we also got, um, we also told, we also, Professor Birch basically told us to go see May on Route 113. We made it to Old Dead Town. We got a, we went shopping for a couple items. We visited the Pokemon Center. And we also visited the Pokemon Mart to get those items I was talking about that we bought. Or that we bought some items because our bag is, you know, five potions, three antidotes, two pearl seals, and one awakening. Yeah. Anyway, let's see if we can find... Uh, I want to at least get Treek up to level 6 before taking on May, because then I'd have an edge on her. So, I'm not going to talk to the guy back there. He basically says that you can cross the water to get from uh, between, uh, I think, this route, one route 113, one, 103, and then I think uh, a different route, which I forget the name of, um, because I haven't played this game in a little while, actually. But yeah, it's like it connects two routes or two areas basically. So here's the Zoom level three. It's female. It's gonna use Growl on a store. Uh, uh, it's gonna just use Growl on Geico and what was attack by a little bit one stat I guess, one stage. So tackle war basically. Uh, tackle and pound war. <laughs> Spit using our moves then because wouldn't be a war if we just. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Ga yeah, uh, I want to say Geico. <laughs> Zigzagoon used another growl. Hopefully we can take out the Zigzagoon. Critical hit, awesome. A critical hit means that it does, t I think, 2.5 times more damage than it would have, and it negates any stat as increases or decreases, like growl, lowering attack, or, you know, harden raising defense. It'll, it'll totally ignore that and just do a lot of more damage. So yeah, there it goes, this is going to go nice. Almost level 6, awesome. I think Trico learns Absorb at level 6, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Here's a Wingo, nice. That's a female Wingo, level 3. Uh, let's go for the pa Oh, yeah, my own- Geico's only attacking move right now is Pound, so, yeah. Oh, Wingo knows a water gun, but, um, it's not very effective, because Geico is a grass type, you silly. It's gonna use Growl, so it's probably gonna survive another turn after this one. After this Pound, it's probably gonna survive- this- It's probably gonna survive at least two more turns. Jeez, because Growl happens to lower Geico's attack. I was right, dang it. Let's just take out this Wingo. Yeah, okay, well, 6, yay, cool, got cool, good level, uh, yeah, 6, and one absorb, yay. So, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, I know, because I'm missing some HP, and I'm too lazy to use a potion. I kind of don't want to use a potion, honestly. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so, right back here, got cool, good level 7, as you saw right there. And, uh, yeah, took out, like, a Poochian and a Zoon on my way back, and, uh, I used Absorb on that 6 skin so I could restore uh, um, Geico's health HP back to full, I guess, to whatever, how many HP does Geico have? 24, okay, cool. Yeah, so let's talk to May. Let's see, the Pokemon found on Route 103 include... Oh, hi, Steven. Oh, I see your da my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since Oh, yeah, thanks. Your dad is very nice. Professor Birch is very nice. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being... A trainer is like. Okay, May. So if you chose Trico, she will have a Torchic. If you chose Mudkip, um, if, okay. So if you chose Trico like me, she'd have a Torchic. If you chose Trico Torchic like her, she'd have a Mudkip. If you chose Mudkip, then she would have a Trico like me. So she always has the Pokemon that's good against your starter. So that kind of stinks, but that's okay. We can still we can make our way through. And, uh, prevail. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna be spamming pound, I guess. It's not that much exciting of a battle, you know. Uh, this Torchic's putting... This Torchic's, you know, putting up a fight. Scratch and pound, basically, is what's happening right now. But since I'm two levels... Since Geico's two levels ahead of it, two, two, two levels higher than her Torchic, 
we had the upper hand on a 6e. Or more experienced, I guess you could say. Okay, we defeated May. Awesome. Pokemon trainer May. Well, that's great. Steven, you're, you're pretty good. Thanks. Thanks for 300 Poké Dollars. Yeah, nice. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already already likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. So you can hop over the ledges. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if you're on the on the uh, right side of the ledges, you can actually just hop over them, which is really nice to avoid tall grass and stuff. It's really fun. But you have to be on the right edge of it to hop over it. If you're on the other edge of it, or the wrong edge of it, then you can't hop over ledges. That ledge or s Yeah, you can't hop over that ledge. Steven, over here, let's hurry home. Okay. Yeah, I like the sound it makes when you hop over that. It's like a, it's like boing, boing. <laughs> it's funny. Here we are back in Wodaboot Town, so let's go back to the lab, which is right here. There is a vicious Pokemon lab, and I'll read the sign for May's house, I guess, because I didn't do that yet. You're a prof oh, this is Professor Birch's house, I guess, because he, you know, pays the bills and stuff, and you know all that. But like, I get. This is my house. It's not my mom's house. It's my house. See, it's a Steven's house. Nice. Paying the mortgage, everyone. Paying the mortgage. Not really. That's the case in real life, too. Jeez. Okay, whatever. Okay. Oh, hi, Steven. I heard you beat May on your very first try. That's excellent, I think is what she said, because I skipped through it. I skipped through it too fast. Darn it. May has been humping with my research for a long time. May is... Uh, Mai has an extensive history as a Pokemon tr as a trainer already. Here, Steven, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have it. This, I think you should have this Pokedex. We received the Pokedex. Awesome! The Pokedex is a high-tech uh, tool that automatically records, makes automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my my kid catches a Pokemon and it records its data in the Pokedex, why May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh wow, Steve, you can get a Pokedex too? That's great, just like me. I've got something for you too. She'll give us, obtain the Pokeball. We get five. Don't think we just get one, we get five. Steven put the Pokeball in the ball's pocket. Okay, it's fun if you catch a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with these with Pokeballs. I do say the same thing, you're still the aid and stuff. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, you said the same thing. Okay, cool, whatever. Okay, and w whoa, there's our mom. She's out in front of the house. Wait, Steven? Steven, Steven, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch or Prof Birch? Oh, what a noble Pokemon you got from Professor Birch. How nice. You're, you're, in your, your, you're your father's child, all right? You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, I've got uh, you. Go if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. Those put a zip in your step. Yes, we got the running shoes. Nice, so we don't have to walk everywhere now. We're just forced to walk everywhere. <laughs> Steven, these sh those shoes come with instructions. Press the B button while wearing these running shoes to run extra fast. Slip on these running shoes and race into great so the, in the great outdoors. To think you have your own very own Pokemon now, your father will be overjoyed. But please. Be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on. Go on. Go get him, honey. She's very, very, you know, m you know, she's very, very, m you know, not, not freaking out that I'm going on an adventure with only just one poke, just my Pokemon by my side. Going out into the world with just Pokemon by my side. Yeah, you know, realistically, she should be a little bit more worried, but she's mom, I guess. She doesn't have to worry. She trusts me. So let's see, I want to catch a Pokemon in here, and it's not a Wurmple. So that kind of stinks, but I'll faint it for experience. Okay, I didn't, I didn't heal my Pokemon. I thought it healed up your Pokemon after you left the lab or something. I don't know why I thought that, but I guess not. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Fine. There's the Wurmple, nice, okay. Cool. I'm going to heal up real quick at the Pokemon Center, then I'm going to try to catch the Pokemon actually on Route 103. Okay, so yeah, if you hold, I'm holding down B right now and I can just run. Awesome. Hey, let's see what she's, what those footprints were, man. Okay, of what Pokemon? What rare Pokemon? I finished sketching the footprints of a rare Pokemon, but it turns out they were my, only my own footprints. Way to go. You, you kept me from going out into my adventure just slightly ahead, of t ahead, and because you wanted to sketch footprints of a Pokemon? Jeez. 
Okay, he's, an, he's a Winkle cheese. Okay, I'm looking for a Zigzagoon. Because I want to use an H as an HM slave, but yeah. So, um, when I'm catching Pokemon, or uh, going through these wild encounters, I'm only going to I'm going to be cutting out any wild Pokemon battles that are not needed. Uh, if, that's, if it's Pokemon I want to catch, of course I'll show it, but if it's just a random encounter of a Pokemon I don't want to catch, um, I'll just cut it out, even if I just faint it, because I'll just faint it for experience too, so that's nice. But not, in all cases, not, in not all cases will I faint the Pokemon though. I might just, just run from it, you know? So here is a Zigzagoon. Nice, it's level 3 female. Cool. So let's go for the pound attack, see how much it does. Oh, critical hit. Nice. And already in the red. It's awesome. Let's get growl on us. Okay, fine. Let's get growl on Geico. Oh, he's gonna use it. Oh no, you're in the red health though. Jeez. Fine, we'll use another pound. I think it gives one more pound, but you know, okay, not your Geico's attack. Maybe you won't faint actually now. What that critical hit? The one time I don't want a critical hit. The one time I don't want a critical hit, man. Come on. Seriously. Oh my gosh. And if you run faster and if you run in the tall grass, I think it increases the chance of you running into wild encounters. So keep that in mind. Then walking. So yeah, that, you know, more than walking, yeah. So if you run into the tall grass, you'll you'll get so much. It's a chance you run into a wild encounter, but if you don't, if you just walk in the tall grass, you won't be as likely to run into a wild encounter, wild Pokemon, I should say. Okay, so please don't have an orange berry. Thank you. Okay, cool. Let's go for the um, Pokeball. We have five. After this, we have four, of course. Super math. Five minus one is four. Hee hee hee. One, two, three. And we caught it. It doesn't do that little click thing though. The end of three shakes. That kind of makes you wonder if you actually caught it or not. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, we caught the Zigzagoon. The Zigzagoon's day was out of the Pokedex. Awesome. So Zigzagoon is number 12 in the Pokedex. Um, Zigzagoon, tiny raccoon Pokemon. It's it's 1 foot 4 inches tall. It weighs 38.6 pounds. Jeez. It's a uh, footprint kind of looks like a crown, honestly. Well, maybe not really. Maybe not really. I don't know. Okay, uh, the Zigzagoon restlessly wanders everywhere at all times. This Pokemon does so because it is very curious. It it becomes interested in anything that it happens to see. That's awesome. Get predicted to Zigzagoon. Uh, let's see. Let's name you. Let's see, you're gonna evolve into a liner eventually. Let's name him Larry. Lynoon the Larry the Lynoon. Yeah, well, I like that. It's a silly nickname, but that's okay. Larry. Yeah. Oh, it has a pickup ability too, which is awesome for picking up items. You know, I won't I won't actually have my second team member or official team member till the next gym. Not the first gym, but the second gym. So I wonder if I want to just, you know, uh, pick up, just catch a lot of these things. I might want to do that. Cause like, it's pick up ability actually picks up items and you can, it, and it uses, it picks it up and uses as holding it. So all I have to do is go to like item and then take. So I might want to pick up a lot of zigzagoons. I'm not sure, but I'll do that. Yeah. Okay, so I was, I'm still in the middle of picking up more zigzagoons, but with that, uh, guy could go to level 9, which is awesome. Okay, so I bought, uh, no, I didn't buy, I caught like 5, I ended up carding, catching 5 zigzagoons. So already, the pick of body is, I can just take this item, it's a full heal, awesome. So yeah, take, revive, awesome, that's awesome, nice. Revive, you can't even get till probably the second gym or so. Like, if you can finding it, finding it, you know, as an item. So I'm gonna heal up at the Pokemon Center real quick. And uh, after that, we can uh, do other stuff. Okay, so who do I want up front? I want Larry up front, actually, because I want to raise up Larry. Larry, uh, I nicknamed them one, two, three, four. <laughs> Larry is up front, though. Nice, okay. So here's Route 102. Wait, how come the see the, the 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 route label when it comes up on screen like yeah it's not the same frame as like your menu for some reason but oh well i won't talk to you i think in this uh, area you can find a c dot and ruby and then in emerald and sapphire you can find low tab which is pretty cool 
So it's stuck to this youngster and battle him. If you have Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. Okay, fine. I guess not. Here is youngster Calvin. Nice. Okay, he has a good level 5. Way really nice. Okay, let's, let's switch. I have six Pokemon on my team already, but four of them aren't even... Well, five of them aren't even permanent team members or official team members, I guess you say. That's just a permanent, because everyone's official. Every one of my team's official, man. That's just kind of making fun of them, saying they're not official. So I'll say permanent then. Permanent team members. Yeah, okay, so you just tail up on Geico. That's cool. It's going to tackle those. It's always Geico's defenses, so that's why. There we go. Could go to also them. I'll take it. Oh, I got lost. I should have trained mine more. Sorry, man. Looks very pocket always though. Nice. Here's a bug catcher. Aha, I always mad you can't take you can't you, you I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon. Cool. Here's a Wimple, nice. Okay, yeah, uh, one got another item, nice. But I'll have to take that from them. I'll have to take that item from one after this battle. So Wimple's level four, male, awesome. Get a screenshot to lower Gecko's def uh, not defense, but speed. One stage, I guess, which kind of stinks. That could go to awesome. I'll take it. Very good level four, awesome. One pole, another one pole. Let's go back to Larry. No, I didn't mean to use tackle. Shoot, I meant to switch out. Well, I wonder. I wonder if Larry can take on this one pole. I think he has a good shot at defeating it. Yeah, oh man, you're making Larry's speed go crazy down. Only by two stages, but crazy. But it's not crazy action in mine. Okay, like, okay, fine. Uh, you know, I'll take, you know, Larry's speed being lower three stages than Larry being hit by tackle or poison sting a couple times. So just keep on using poison, not keep on using the string shot. Yeah, Larry take down that whole Wumple. Nice. Alright, Larry's number level five. Awesome. Larry went tail whip. Awesome. Ow, down and out. Sorry. Thanks for the four pocket hours. I'm not very tall, so I sink right into the grass. Uh, the grass goes up my nose and fwaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
They will store it. They, they heal poison, I believe, so that's awesome. Okay, so... I meant to go to my Pokemon, dang it. Okay, there we go. One, what is this item? Super potion, nice. Oh, wait, we also has an item too. Revive, awesome, we have two revives now. We haven't got to the official, the first city with the official gym badge. Being a pedal brick city, because it still has a gym. You just can't battle it right away. Take it on right away. So, uh, let's organize our bag, I guess, real quick. Oh man, this might take a while. That's what I wanted to do, okay, cool. Just organizing a little bit, that's all. Oh, I'm at 24 minutes now, okay. So, uh, in recording time at least. Um, I'm actually going to end the part right here in the middle of a route. I know, I I, I mean, I, I, I'll probably just end the part right here. So, I guess this is a good stopping point anyway. So, this has been, so this has been then my Pokemon Ruby Redo Walk the part. Next part will take on the rest of this route. And hopefully make it to Petalburg City. Which is just east of us, west of us. Where we're, west of where we are now. So that's pretty cool. So this video I go again. I would like to thank you for checking by and hope to see you guys next part of my Pokemon Ruby Redo Walkthrough Guide.